Hi everybody, Jo here. Welcome, welcome. Another extravaganza. I really hope you're going to enjoy the next four days. I hope you've got plenty of brews, cheeky biscuits. Are you sitting comfortably? Because do you know what? We've got so much to share with you. We've got new stamps. I hope you've been enjoying all the samples that the design team have been show, uh, sharing with you on social media. Honestly, I'm so proud to be part of the team. Now, today, I thought we'd have a look at just a couple of the new stamps. I don't want to sort of show you them all at the same time. We like to just entice you. And I know other members have used other stamps. So it's a bit silly for us all to show you all the same ones. So I've been having a play with one of the stamps, which is called the Forest Arch. And it is this glorious stamp here. And it makes a beautiful frame. Not only is it an arch but it makes a frame. Now, those of you who know me know that I love pattern building. And as you can see, I've created two designs already. Now, this one, what I love about this is, and I'm a bit like Elliot, my little grandson, when I love something, I get a bit excited. So I'm like, I might get my words mixed up. I love the fact my original one I just had my beautiful new fairy, Dana, and she was looking at the butterfly. And then when I created it again, look, I decided I was going to have two butterflies. Now, I'm thinking you could mix and match this. You could have so many alternatives. This I've put as a birthday card. You could have it as a birthday card. You could have it as a wedding card. And as my voice gets a little bit less, it's because I've suddenly realised I didn't get my sentiment stamp out. So you didn't notice that, did you? Well, pretend, pretend I'm professional. So like I was saying, this could be almost like an arch for a wedding. And you could use the colours, if you know what colours the bridesmaids are in, and the flowers. You know what? You know I like to come in and just offer you so many alternatives. So let's have a look at how we create it. So I'm going to pop these over here and I've got a piece of multifarious card and this is five and a half inches square and I've already popped my black line round three sides. So I'll just pop it round the last one. So any permanent marker, I mean you can use different colours, gold and silver. I just like to hold it with a piece of kitchen towel and drag my pen down. And as you know, I do keep this piece of paper to keep using. Now, I must apologise today when I'm making this video, my throat's playing up a bit. So I've got my water. I'm sure we'll be fine, but I'll apologise now. And if I sound a bit husky again, I just apologise. So that's it. Apologies done. You're stuck with me now. Now, I'm going to show you this beautiful forest arch. Look at that. There is so much detail. And I know often you want to know sizes. So if I sort of do it, I know you like inches. It's about just a smidgen over four inches across. So that will give you an idea. And about one and a half that way. So I'm going to come in with my black. Often when I get a new stamp, you know... I just ink it up in black ink and um, I've got to be honest, I use one of my older VersaFine Claire inks because I don't like wasting my best ink, but that's just me. And um, I just stamp it on copy of paper to get a feel for the stamp and especially for ones like this that are fabulous for pattern building. So to start off with, I'm just going to sort of look and I want sort of equal distance between each side and the top. So I'm thinking that looks fine for me. And there's a lot of detail on this. Tracy's put so much detail in, which is beautiful. So I'm just going to give it a good press and lift it up. There we go. If I bring that closer, just so you can see. Now I'm going to turn that round and I'm going to wink up again, making sure I don't put my block on my, my finished card because I did that once and I had some ink on the bottom of my block and especially when I want some white space. So I'm trying to be mindful to getting good habits because I've already got two butterflies going on this card. I don't want a third. So what I'm going to do now is sort of not look at this distance but look at the top. So I want it about equidistant. 
And if I'm lucky, these two will match up. And again, good press. Let that ink soak in. Don't be in too much of a rush to lift it up. And then if I lift that up, look at that, beautiful. Now, just to show you, I had a little bit of a play. Now, I've left a little bit of a gap here. You could actually put them so they meet. So I've had a go. So we've got a frame there. So you've got a larger area. Again, you could just work, work on a smaller piece of card. If you're one of our new followers, the best way is to stamp it and then cut your card to size. But you can elongate this. So look at this. So this one, I've used um, a longer piece of card and I've given a larger gap. And this is one of our new stamps. I just happened to stamp in the middle. And this is Thimbleweed. But, I mean, you could easily, that could be that way. You know, you could pop a scene in there. It would make a beautiful frame. Or one of our gorgeous sentiments. And, again, have it as a frame. So there are so many possibilities, you know, from this one stamp. There is so much you can do. And I've got to be honest, that's what I love. I love the fact that we can really mix and match things. So I'm going to come in with a sentiment of the heartfelt verses and I'm just going to go for birthday wishes because do you know what? I always need birthday cards. But you could always put just for you because that you could send it then as a birthday card, a get well card, a thinking of you card. Now I'm going to put this in the middle like that and then I'm going to come in with our beautiful Dana this gorgeous new fairy and she's quite small um she's weeny like me and there are so many places I think you are going to love stamping her but I think she's just going to sit beautifully in the middle down here look so I'm going to pop her there now this design I'm thinking and you know what Please don't judge me, but I'm thinking of Christmas. I'm thinking if I did some holly and some berries in opposite corners, I think this would make a beautiful Christmas card. I'm just saying, I think I may have to go and try that. So there we've got the basis of the frame look. So I'll just give her a blot because I want to add a little bit of colour next. And... I just want to add a little bit of sort of background colour. If I show you the finished one look, just sort of to take the starkness off the card. And I'm going to come in with my elements, with my Della Blue, my number three brush look. And I'm going to go from my ink pad and I'm just going to use the lid as a palette look. So in fact, I'm just going to pop it there. Now, it might be out of sight, but all I'm going to do is dip my ink in the ink pad, pop it in the lid, look, give it a bit of a... It sort of blends it onto my brush evenly because then I just want to cull it, come in and almost colour this area. But that's why I blotted, because I don't want this ink to smudge. And I just want to sort of take that starkness off, but almost in a, a quick, speedy way. So can you see how I'm just adding that colour, taking the whiteness off? Now, again, it might be if you've got a lovely afternoon planned, this is beautiful to colour in. There is so much detail. So it might be you want to just sit and spend some time colouring in with your pens, your pencils, in which case it's beautiful for that. But I just want to today add some sort of speedy background colour. And I've purposely gone for Della Blue because it's one of our paler blues. I just think the Blue Atoll and the Mermaid for this may be a bit, I may get marks because they're a bit sort of almost deeper, brighter colours. Well, that's the way my head works anyway. And with this brush look, you can actually, you get such a lovely edge on it. So let me have a look. I just think I need a little bit more up there and there. Right. 
So what I want to do now is add some lovely detail and I'm going to add some lovely dangly bits and I'm afraid I'm going to refer to them as dangly bits and these are from the foliage set. We've got a large dangle sort of catkin type and a smaller one and also we've got a lovely floral and I'm thinking for the first one, the large one, I'm going to come in with the Warm Breeze. So this is the VersaFine Claire. It's our permanent ink. But I just want to, so let me have a look. I think we'll have one there. The hardest bit I have here is getting them straight. We'll have one there. And we'll have one there and I'm just going to give that a wipe with my inky binky and pop it back because I want this gorgeous one here but I don't want the stem so what I'm actually going to do is ink up in the same colour and then just with my cloth my inky binky just wipe the ink off the stem now I just want this to stamp and I'll, I'll just stamp one to show you just at the base of our dangly bits but it's for me I just don't want the stem and I'll, I'll show you why so if you look closely there so can you see I don't want the stem going into my arch I just want these bits here so it's important for me to just take off this bit now I don't want to cut it because there may be times when I want the stem I mean, it makes a beautiful flower sort of stood up where you need the stem. It almost looks like a mini tree. So it's worth me just taking the time. So if you just bear with me, and this is where I have to remember to do it, because you know me, I'm likely to talk to you and forget. There we go. And I just think that foliage around our lovely dangly bits is beautiful. So we'll pop the lid on now and what I'm thinking is we'll add the smaller one now but I'll come in with the black, the Nocturne. Because I've got our fairy and the frame in the black I want to bring in a little bit more stamping in black. That's not good is it? My um, stamp's just come off my block. Now if that happens sometimes they just need a bit of a wipe, a bit of a clean. What I'm going to do is just stamp it on my copy of paper, almost just to press it down. There we go, I think that'll be fine. If you, I mean, I just wipe my um, stamps at the end of each ses session when I finish stamping with them, just with a, a wet or a damp cloth, and then just dry them on my inky binky, only because I like to put them away clean. You don't have to. Some people never clean the stamps, and that's fine. It's everybody, each to their own. I'm afraid I have to. But if my stamp gets particularly, um, I mean, sometimes they can get, dare I say, dust on them. Well, obviously, I don't dust my craft room. You know, if Eric's under the table and I file them on the floor, they can get the odd pet hair. They can get glitter. All I do is wash them in warm, soapy water and then rinse them, let them air dry. And do you know what? They come back as good as ever and as sticky as ever. So what I want to do now is just, we've got a beautiful botanical blossom set and on it we've got two tiny little stamps. Now I have to say at this point, Tracy, I don't know how long I'm going to keep hold of mine because I do think this little stamp is going to be one of those that's going to disappear. Right, I'm going to come in with Fantasia now and what I'm thinking with this, just to add a little bit of interest at the top look, now this stamp is beautiful, look, I think it could be, look, a pair of eyes, it could be um, wings, it could be teardrops, a feather. This is one of those I'm going to be using a lot. In fact, when you pop back tomorrow, it's going to sneak into tomorrow's demo as well. And I think I might just actually use it here. 
Now that didn't quite stamp properly so that I lifted it off too quickly. But this is where I'm going to add my butterfly so I don't mind. But I'm just thinking it just fills that space. Right, stop faffing now. I'm afraid as I'm recording this, it's throwing it down outside. So if you can hear a noise, it's the rain on the window. Right, so I've given that a blot and we'll just add some colour now. But I think we have got so many different stamps in our stash, you know, that you could use in this frame. And as I say, for so many different occasions. So what I'm just going to do is come in with the blue and where these beautiful flowers are, I'm just going to go round and pick them out and highlight them. And this is just my watercolour pencils. And actually, while I'm going past that, let's get the yellow and just... And I'm just going to bring in... A little bit of orange on her wing and then the blue to tie it all together so how are you keeping today i hope you're keeping well and are you watching this live if you are we're in the morning you might be watching on catch up you might be watching if you've been at work today you might be snuggled in bed now with a nice hot chocolate I do love to know where you watch these videos and when. It's lovely that you watch them at all different times. I mean, as I say, you've got such a wealth of great videos and don't forget the giveaways. Keep an eye on all social media. Right, so I've added the blue. Can you see the little detail? So I'm just going to come in with my purple. And not on all of them, but look, just on a couple just going to add a little bit more depth now again you could spend all day if you wanted and just spend your time coloring this in this would be one of those beautiful you know if you're having a bit of a bit of a tough time and i know we all do from time to time and you want to just sit and do some coloring this would be beautiful to just sit and color and your mind will wander as you look at each of these beautiful strands. So I'm just picking a few out, look, just to highlight. And then I'm going to come in with my Wink of Stella and I'm just going to add some on her beautiful wings, the lamp, a little bit on her and then just on each of these beautiful just for a little bit of sparkle i'm just going to turn it round now don't forget we've got our gorgeous rose set and if you wanted to decoupage some roses on top of this honestly these stamps once you start using them your mind like mine will be racing thinking oh i could do this i could do that Right, pastel pencils time. We want a little bit of glow around the lamp, so we'll just come in with the yellow look. But then, if I come in with the white, and I'm almost going to use the white to blend that yellow, and it'll do two things. It blends it so it's not as harsh, and it just fuzzes the edges. And then, biodegradable cotton board, just to fuzz it even more. A little bit of a blow and then we've just got that lovely hint of a glow now as you know i have one of my lovely these are in the storage storage section the storage tins and i stamp out on little pieces of copy paper or card or any of my offcuts that's the word I'm looking for my offcuts and I stamp a lot of our stamps mainly this mini flutter 
So this is one of our beautiful pound range. And I just stamp it on off cuts. I've got lots of different. There's some crowns in there. There's some beautiful, look at that, florals. Oh, there's the rose look. So again, this is so handy. If if mojo goes and you don't know what to do, maybe get some off cuts and stamp them up and colour them in. Because actually you might just need them. So I'm thinking on here, look. I'm thinking I might like to add my two butterflies on there. Now, I'm going to come in with, actually, if I put, I might put it that way. See, I'd, I've got to be honest, I don't like those. I've gone off those. So I'm going to come in and put my butterfly there. And I'm going to put that butterfly there. Just like that. I love the way we can change our mind as we start. So this is the Bippity Boppity glue. And the butterflies I've just coloured in with my watercolour pencils. And then a bit of Wink of Stella over the top. And as I say, they were already in my box, waiting to be used. And then lastly, just for that little finishing touch, the beautiful yellow sparkle Posca pen. And what we'll do, I'll just dab in the middle of each of those beautiful flowers. Now you can follow the trails round if you want. I'm just going to turn it round. Again, I find it easier to turn my work. And then on our dangly bits, I think we'll just add some. Now you can add as much of this as you want. You could add some glitter. What about the holographic glitter? I'm going to wait and see who I'm going to send this to. Because I can always add the glitter later, can't I? And then lastly, I'm thinking some Posca splats. So a shake and I just want a few. So get my little brush and we'll just add in here some lovely Posca splats just to take the whiteness off and just around my butterflies and then for me I think that's just such a beautiful frame and as I say there are so many places you could take that so if I bring in the original one where in my head, our lovely Dana was looking for the butterfly. She's seeking him. But obviously on this one, I've gone for two. But like I say, I'm definitely going to have to go have a go at a Christmas one. I'm thinking I could really Christmassy this up. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's given you some ideas. As I say, don't forget, got brilliant videos the rest of the day. And in fact, for the next three days. So thank you for joining me. As always, when you get your new stamps, when you create something like this, please tag me in. I love to see what you make and the way your mind works. So you take care. I'm off now for maybe another little brew. I think I've deserved it, don't you? See you again tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.